Warning, this episode of Daily Scooby News features some rather disturbing images. People that don't like blood or gore should, you know, maybe skip today's video. Uh, for everybody else, there will be a warning before any nasty images pop up. Hey everyone and welcome to today's episode of Daily Scuba News. Right, okay, this is a bit of a weird story and would have featured heavily in one of our old shows, Weird Wednesdays. Connie Hallowell from South Africa was spearfishing in Scottborough Beach um, in the south of Durban when, yeah, something rather weird happened that made Connie either very lucky or very, very unlucky. Yeah, so first off, he's fine. Here's our actual picture of him after the accident in hospital. He is fine, don't worry about it. So somehow Connie managed to shoot himself in the face with his own spear gun. Now, the nasty pictures are gonna start popping up now, so if it's particularly early in the morning or you are quite squeamish, then you know, maybe now's the time to go make a cup of tea. So despite how serious the injury looks, he was actually super lucky because the spear itself missed his brain and his eyes. It just went through, you know, like the meaty bit of his face and behind his eyeball, but didn't seem to have actually hit anything serious. So once he had shot himself in the face, or by accident, I can only presume, uh, he was quickly taken ashore where thanks to locals, they managed to shorten the spear. So, Oh, you yeah. see, by chance, one of the locals on the beach had, for some reason, an angle grinder on his person, you know, as you do. <laughs> in my daily bag. Good lord. Um, <coughs> so using said angle grinder, they managed to shorten the spear. Uh, <laughs> oh, get uh, hot. Can you imagine that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that'd be hot. Oh. Um, cool. Sounds like my Sunday. <laughs> Lifeguards were on the scene to help Connie until he was sent off to the hospital so the rest of the spear could be removed safely. Because uh, he would have had like the flopper, the, the thing, like, and that would have been behind his left eye. Oh. So they can't like pull it out because that would just hinge and they can't just yank it out the... Uh. Oh. Oh. So basically, he's doing very well. Even though the spear went behind one of his eyes, like through his entire face, oh. uh, he can actually still see pretty well and his on the road to making a full recovery. So yeah, it's just a case of looking, it, it looks a lot worse than it actually was. But still, how the heck did this happen? I mean, the, the spear shaft itself was like, I don't know, five, maybe six feet long. It, it, uh, oh. the mind boggles. So reports don't actually say how it happens. So we're just gonna have to use our imagination, unfortunately. Um, don't do it too hard because you'll go to a very dark place. But for now, if you're spear fishing, just don't let go of your loaded spear gun. If you're gonna, if you need to let go of it, just take the tension off the bungees, um, and just don't point it at anything that you don't want to hit, because whatever's in front of it, it, it is gonna get hurt. It's gonna go through it. Yeah, even if it's your face. So yeah, you know, just what? Let, let's just end the story there, because it's going to a weird, horrible place. How do you think Connie managed to shoot himself in the face? Let's discuss in the comments below. Don't forget to smash all of the social stuff. Thank you for watching, and of course, safe diving. And spearfishing. Yeah, don't shoot yourself in the face. Well done, Ian. Thank you. And, and don't Google spearfishing accident, because you'll get some horrid, horrid pictures. <laughs> We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.